Welcome to Old Mission Boat Company's construction videos for the Boardman 14. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to coat the interior and apply the fillets. All of the interior surfaces must be coated in a layer of epoxy. This will protect the inside of the boat from any moisture that occurs from condensation or water leaking in through an open deck vent. You will coat the entire inside surface of the bottom panel, the inside surface of the sides, all of the frames, and the shear clamps. Do not apply epoxy to the last three inches of the transom until you have completed the installation of the transom taper blocks in a later step. Start by cleaning out the interior of the boat with a vacuum. This will help ensure good adhesion of the epoxy. You can use a small 3 inch wide foam roller using regular non-thickened epoxy. Remember to coat the inside of the hole cutouts in all of the frames. You will also need to coat the inside surface of the deck panel. Remember the inside surface is the side with the fiberglass cloth covering the wave scarf. Next, you will apply fillets to all of the points where the wood pieces are joined. Fillets should be applied to both sides of the frames where they contact the bottom panel and on all of the inside corners of the intersections of the longitudinal and transverse frames. Fillets are also placed along the inside seam where the side panels meet the bottom panel. For more information on fillets, refer to our Epoxy Basics video. Mix up a triple batch of thickened epoxy. The mixture should be thick enough to stay on your stirring stick when you pick up a small amount. Be careful not to go all the way to peanut butter consistency for this will not pass through the application tube or a fillet bag very easy. The mixture should sag down off the stirring stick, but not drip. As you mix the thickener into the epoxy, you can start with larger amounts, but as the mixture starts to thicken, only add small amounts to get just the right texture. There are two methods of applying the fillets. One method is to use a standard zip top bag. Simply mix up a triple batch of thickened epoxy and place it in the bag. Cut off one of the bottom corners of the bag to leave a small hole. Then squeeze the bag to force the thickened epoxy out as you move along the seams and leave a small line of epoxy. Then use a standard tongue depressor to force the epoxy tightly into the seam, forming a smooth fillet. The other method uses a standard refillable plastic caulking tube and a caulking gun. Load the epoxy into the caulking tube and place the plastic push sleeve into the tube. Cut the tip of the applicator to leave a small 3 16 opening. Place the tube into a caulking gun and apply a small eighth inch to a quarter inch bead along all of the wood joints. Once you apply the first batch of epoxy to the joints, use a fillet stick to spread the fillets into the intersections. For examples of this, watch the Epoxy Basics video on the website. Once you complete the smoothing of the fillets with the filleting tool, you can mix up the second batch. It will take about two triple batches to complete the filleting. Since you are working with a larger batch of epoxy, remember that it can produce more heat and start to set up quicker. So work efficiently and move through the first batch quickly. Do not leave a large batch of epoxy in the tube or bag for very long. You should work through the first batch in about 10 minutes. If you are using the caulking tube method, you can reuse the tube for the second batch. Use the metal push rod to force the plastic sleeve back out of the tube. Clean out any remaining epoxy in the tube. You will need to apply large fillets at the bow where the sides and the center longitudinal meet. It can be difficult to get the epoxy into that section because your caulking gun or bag won't fit into the narrow space. You can accomplish that by placing a large amount of thickened epoxy about the size of a golf ball 
as far into the bow section as you can get and then use a long narrow stick to move the epoxy into the bow joint. It will be a little messy, but it will make the bow really strong for those beach landings. When placing larger fillets, always use a small amount of extra thickener to make the fillet material stiffer, more like peanut butter. This will help hold the weight of the extra material to keep it from sagging. In a similar fashion as the bow fillets, also push large fillets into the narrow section between the outer longitudinals and the side panels at the transom. Do the same type of fillet at the front ends of the outer longitudinals where they meet the side panels at frame number four.